You ever have one of those days where you go to drop your toddler off at their Head Start program and then realize that he doesn't have school today? Today's one of those days for me. So guess who's coming with us? <laughs> today is bag sale day at the Rainbow's End, which means I get to fill like something like a 30 gallon trash bag full of clothing, shoes, purses, etc., um, ties, socks, whatever, for $10. So we're going to go, we're going to thrift. I've got some donations to drop off when I go and I have some packages to drop off as well. And we've got the little wallet card with us today. The boy, we call him <laughs> number four. All right. Well, let's go guys. We're on our way. Let's have a good time and let's see what we can find a flip for a profit. So apparently today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day and the thrift store is closed. <laughs> <coughs> we'll be back tomorrow. <coughs> Hmm, doing the donates. <laughs> Our pet food, let me see. Show them the pet food. <laughs> A little crazy. Oh, there's five more in my mailbox, two more in my car, and a couple I didn't get to downstairs, but this is a good freaking weekend, y'all. Okay, guys, it's the next day. Both my kids are in school. I just dropped off about 30 plus packages to the post office, plus my mailbox is full of packages. Anyway, that is a really good weekend of sales that I had on Facebook and eBay and Poshmark. And now we are, here's the plan for today. Uh, I talked to Jo, who is a state sale uh, woman that I work for sometimes, and she's doing a sale today in town, which is where I'm in town, which is where I'm at. Um, and so we're going to go over there. She said they already pulled a bunch of retro clothes for me. So we're going to go check it out together and see what's up with that. And then hopefully it's bag sale week. It's usually the third full week of the month, but then there was a holiday yesterday. So I'm not hundred percent sure, but we will find out. And if there is, we will go to that as well and throw a couple donations their way. Um, so I'm super excited. I cannot wait. Today is going to be an amazing day of sourcing and not that I need more things, but you know, the FOMO is real guys. Let's go and uh, see what we can find today. Guys, the thrifty is open, the rainbows end, my little personal pot of gold, and I see the back sale sign in the window. So I am stoked. Let's go in, come along. Ooh, Ooh that's an ice cube. Yeah,
Oh, can I see that little owl in there? This one? Yes, me. Can I die? I'm cool. <laughs> oh, it's like fluffy pin. I'll take him. Okay. Can I have a bag for the bag sale, please? Sure. Oh, can I see that little armadillo too when you get a sec? Like he's under that other, it's like a pin under the Bijou by Mara blue shiny thing in the front. Okay. Yep. There we go. There he is. Yep. You did. Yep. That guy. Okay. Yep. I'll take him too. Yeah. I'll take him. <laughs> and I'll take these two sets of picture frames. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to give you guys an idea of what's going on here. I am filling these giant bags full of clothing, shoes, accessories. The only thing I can't put in the bags is the stuff you saw at the very front of the store, which is considered their better goods. Um, so now I'm going through the women's fancy tops, skirts, dresses, pantsuits, lingerie, and uh, bathing suits are in this row. This is a handmade vintage wool plaid skirt, so I definitely grabbed that. The first skirt you saw me grab is my favorite one with the sort of like Western American Indian or Native American pattern on it. So I just go through, I've, you know, been to this store a lot of times, so I've seen some of these dresses you know, 10, 15 times each. <laughs> but they always have new stuff in that I haven't seen before. Also, please excuse my finger because I'm just holding my phone and my finger gets in the in the frame a lot. I apologize <laughs> for that one. This was a fresh produce. They sell really well and they're a good brand, but it was like bleach stained all over the dress. So I ended up leaving it behind and even being very picky on this particular day, I took home three garbage bags, three $10 bags, and then another bag full of the better mm -hmm. goods. That's cute. So that Walls jumpsuit, those always sell really well. The Chiller Killer bright orange vest and the Wool Rich coat. And then at the end I find a couple more uh, brand new tags Eddie Bauer leggings that they wanted $10 a piece for. So that was $20 of my whole spend was those two pair of pants. Anyway, I did take this dress. I ended up going to list it the other day and realizing that it had a giant rip up the skirt. So that one went right back to the donation bin. <laughs> I don't pick up Y2K. I guess I should start because way more people are starting to ask me about it. I do come across a lot of it, but I am a teenager of that era, so I don't really care for it much. <laughs> Most of the time I'll look like at the side of the clothes for a certain material, or I'll feel each one. Evan Pacone can be a really good pickup. Some He has like some good materials and good pieces it's definitely dependent on um the individual item this is a 90s maybe y2k stretchy slinky dress with the bell sleeves so then this is where the pantsuits start this plaid jacket's been here for a while if anybody really loves it let me know <laughs> This is a handmade velvet, crushed velvet pant and floral jacket 
coordinating top, so I definitely scooped that. Vintage. And this one's kind of a stumper. It is handmade, um, but I don't think it's vintage. I think it's more modern, but it's definitely a repop of a micro mini dress. Very, very cute. Um, then we come to like the slips and lingerie little section here and bathing suits after that. Always, uh, pro tip, always check the mannequins and the displays up top. So when we show the swimsuits again, I'll explain which one I did end up buying and I'll show you what it retails for. There's a Dooney and Burke bag. <laughs> it has a little bit of pen writing right there in the, in the inside, but other than that, it's in like perfect condition. I think it's supposed to be like that, like a reverse bleach kind of thing. This woman asked me a question. Dooney she asked bag. me if this shirt was stained or it probably retailed for like 300 bucks to look like that. <laughs> Speaking of Y2K and 90s. Yeah, I bleach dye some of my shirts like that. I try to do it to this one. Yeah. Like I dipped the whole bottom of this and the sleeves in bleach and nothing happened. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> I was like, wait. I thought that. I'm really social. So I'll talk to anyone who wants to talk to me. Fair warning. The cool hieroglyphics bag. It wasn't branded at all, but I really like the pattern, so I looked this one up. It's actually a diaper bag, and it wasn't worth um, picking up. Hi. Good, and you? So now we're on to the hats, t-shirts, leisure wear sort of section. This next find is a yes all day. Hello, fifth grade. <laughs> Scouts and Cub Scouts. So hats can be worth a lot. I found a Subaru hat not too long ago at the Salvation Army for like two dollars that I sold for over a hundred. It was like a velvety cow print Subaru hat. <laughs> Cute. Cool Calvin Klein spell out on this jacket. Somebody come get your kid. No, I'm just kidding. My kids are always in here running around. <laughs> I live really rural. This is like a local thrift store. Um, I say in town because the town that's the closest to where we live, where there's actually stores and stuff. I love the color of this. <laughs> See world. I took this. I definitely took this for myself. I've already worn it, washed it, worn it several times. I like the color. Sea World gives me nostalgia feels. So I picked that up for myself. Some things I didn't know the brand of, so I picked them up to look them up. And some things I picked up because I'll give the credit shout out to Ashley at the uh, Hustle at Home Mom channel because she I'll show you in here a couple brands that I picked up because I've seen her pick them up before. <laughs> and I otherwise wouldn't. I do sell some modern things on Poshmark. Um, but I'm, I mostly pick up vintage. Vintage is where I, is what I really enjoy. Hey, be quiet. Mm, that's cool. Stand up. Yeah, yeah, so this is the um, like sweaters and athleisure pants and stuff like that on this rack. Mm -hmm. The champion long sleeve. Boink. 
the Patagonia. I have found no less than five Patagonia um, like fleece sweaters on this very rack. They're in here all the time. I come across a lot of Woolrich and um, Cabela's, Columbia. This is a really cool single stitch Native single American stitch lady too. with a wolf t-shirt. Who doesn't want this? A single stitch Caribbean I think it's too small for me, otherwise I would have to myself. But I did keep this next one. Not the next one, but the next next one. <laughs> that this is not a vintage shirt it's modern but i picked this up for myself because i was just saying before i went in the store i need cool. more like cool. big t-shirts mm -hmm. that are neato that was pretty oh, neato so here's another me, i'll do so addressing. No problem. I think every time I come in here, I undress this poor mannequin. <laughs> I was telling her you got to put uglier clothes on the mannequins. That way you don't have to take them down off the walls and stuff. <laughs> oh. oh, come off of there. Oh, I got to get that other bag. Uh oh, she's gonna get to three and then the world's gonna explode. <laughs> oh, my knees. Well, so here I end up, end up undressing the mannequin fully because these pants feel really nice. So we went to check the tag. And they were some iron fisher yeah. silk. I, I, and I thought it was a skirt at first. Um, but snag like it on the pants. hook in the back there. I gotta get another bag. Check it over too, because you know we, we try to catch. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure this is silk. So I went through the sweaters. I didn't show myself going through all the sweaters, but these are the ones I ended up picking up. There's another Eileen Fisher. Little Lord and Taylor, lamb's wool. This is April Cornell. Vintage, good brand. Actually, I'm not positive that's vintage. I did not end up getting this, and I don't remember what the brand was. And then this is shout out to Ashley, at yeah, Atwelly. <laughs> vintage bird sweater. I always find cool pants in that store, like Levi's, old orange tab Levi's, and whatnot. Going through the men's section here a little bit. I ended up picking up this, um, this shirt here for myself as well. Oh, here we go through the men's sweaters. This was absurd, you guys. <laughs> the men's sweater section giveth on this day. So, sorry again about my finger in the frame. <laughs> uh, there's a lamb's wool club room. We found the knot. I think that first one was a nautica. The first, oh, the Tommy, Tommy Hill figure. I ended up giving this one to my man because it was his size and he got a different job. So he needs like the nice sweaters. <laughs> yeah, just flip them through here and there's another Tommy Hill figure sweater. A little tiny stain on it, but 
I decided that would be easy to remove with my little trick trick. Uh, Nautica. This today is crazy. I don't always pick up Nautica, but I do always pick up these super heavy knit cotton sweaters in like the large and XL. Here's another Nautica. And I pick them up if they're vintage. And we've got the polo. Bright orange. Oh no, it wasn't polo. Well, Lauren. That's his that's actually a women's sweater, probably. Oh my goodness. Another Nautica. Another Another that's the polo one. So yeah, that was a pretty good sweater rack right there. I can almost. All right, she's asking me if I can identify it. Let me see. You got bag. coach bags up there? You got coach bags here? Yeah, I'm just emptying the bag. So did it get donated? Yeah. Mm. I don't think it's gonna. I did. She doesn't really appear to me to be somebody that would buy a real coach. I mean, that's a good sign. This whole. Uh, like all this stuff. I I would say I would say it is. Well, I just sold one for. Five is it bucks. for sale? Yeah. I'll buy it. Five bucks. I'll buy it and I can find out if it's real. Let you know. Yeah, I'll pay five for it. Okay. Where's your is stuff? It stained in there. Hmm. It's I think not it's so just bad. used. Yeah, so like when you sell stuff like this on eBay, they actually have you send it to a different place where they authenticate it, and then they send it to the buyer, or there's other places you can send it that will authenticate it. I mean, it's worth, if it's like, if it's real, it's a couple hundred dollar bag, you know what I mean? Like, for to resell. Yeah, I just, Katrina. I saw you put a coach one in her thing. I was like, dang, she got a coach bag. <laughs> she was all nice and everything. I'll take a chance on it. All right, well, that's fine. I'm going to put it, I don't, you want to, I'm going to put it up here so I don't get it in my bag. I'll try. I found a Dooney and Burke over here on the hanging on the thing. That was a real, a real one. Well, I know we had one. The pink one. From them, and we we had it marked. I think twenty bucks or something. That might have been a different one. Okay. Yeah, it was Carol a. Carol and I had found it, so that was a while ago. It was a pink one. Hmm. I'll give it a try. We'll see. Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. Hey, if it's a million bucks, I'll split it with you. How about that? <laughs> but you'll owe me two fifty on it. <laughs> the break. Ooh, that's nice. Linen and rayon. Mm. Shiz. Hmm. Might actually be really cute with like a belt around it. They saw the skirt. Cool. Mm, put it in, put it in. I'm gonna do it. We'll try it on together. <laughs> it's okay, then we got fashion bug trousers. Oh. Adidas. Yes, large. Huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm finding so much in here today. I wasn't supposed to because I gotta go. I'm going after this to an estate sale with Jolina, and she's gonna give me a whole another bag of more clothes. Then I'm gonna have to sneak. Oh. Oh, that's cool. And they want to know if we would give them inventory. I'm like, come down on bad days and buy it. Right. It's really not that much. <laughs> yeah, I'll donate them 10 bucks so they can come pick it out themselves because, you know, I, you know what they want and everything. Anyway. Jay Crew. That's cute. Oh, killing me today. I'm buying so much. Oh, another one. Okay. I 
keep finding doubles. How are you guys getting these doubles and stuff? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, weird, because I... Whoa. What's that? Oh, I will. The purse? More coach bags? Oh, let me see them. <laughs> I'm not getting greedy. I just want to see. I'm just curious. What is this that you're talking about? Bags, handbags. I, I don't, but I don't know what that means. Coach handbags. They are designer handbags. Oh, They're designers. They right. sell like for several hundred dollars. Oh, good heavens! It just yeah, to me. Hmm. Let me see. Now she pulls out Another coach one. bags and stuff, it's and I'm like, coach. "Whoa, what jacket is that? Can I have that? I'm sorry? Are you putting that on the rack? I am. I brought it down from the basement. Which Let me one have are you this one. At? This right one. Here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. They got little Trojan horses on the back. That's cool. Nice. I got. Is that one too? Well, I'm taking the change before we do Oh, yeah, heck yeah. Go ahead. So far, I've got 13 cents. I can that's... put that with my outfit, ma'am. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. And it's Liz Claiborne. This is, this is fine. Liz is cute. Okay, what's oh, this? Oh, $100 bill. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Christmas in New York City, 2017. Mm -hmm. Another 2017 thing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this one, I don't know. They're a little stained up. Maybe that's why they got donated. Usually you Are can you tell. Like, I'm just, what, what, it depends on what you're going to. I don't know really, I, I you know why I'm navigating toward pink today. That's weird. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it back if I don't. How's that? Hmm, I wonder if I'm going to Google this thing real quick. Okay. So this is the coat rack. It always gives me good. I find such good coats on this one's a uh, Cabela's corduroy and like a light purple. This here is a Nike. It's an all conditions gear uh, brand Nike. Fully, uh, it's like a lined zipper jacket. So that's pretty cool. I have a pair of boots like that. Nike. Not lined zipper boots, but all conditions gear Nike. He's cute. That was a really cool fleece. Just like brown and camo. Oh my goodness, guys, killing me today. Uh, with all this, this is good a Stevie Schmidt workwear oh, coat. I also ended wear. up going to That's my nice. man, and he absolutely loves it. So. Super thick, good quality, like new. I washed it already, but um, really good condition coat. I did end up, oh, this goes with that other Chiller orange killer. jacket I got. I should have gotten this vest. It might still be there next time I go back. But I did end up look, looking up uh, those coach bags, and they're not worth a ton of money, even, like, if they're genuine, they're Pretty not sure even goes worth the a whole, whole got. lot. But I did take one home, so. Oh, Champion. This one had like a, a significant amount of staining, so I, I left it behind. Got the Michael Kors, the Liverpool, those other ones were, I think they're Express, but they're like Y2K with the big flare, low rise. Pants here um, is another home goods section near the back where I found these amazing party cups with cat dog, rugrats, um, Franklin, I think the one is. And then these like really cool 90s party hats. It ended up being that the lady, when I went to check out, she was like, oh, you can, because usually you can't put linens and um, the hard goods in your bag, but they allowed me to put those items in my bag if that makes sense so 
um, all of these ended up in a bag with the clothes. So I paid $5 for the coveralls, I paid $5 for that Woolrich coat, and I paid 6 I think it was, for the, um, the bright orange coat. And then I paid $20, like I was saying before, for these two Eddie Bauer pants. So here's the matching party game and mat um, things for the Rugrats party game. Or party cups. <laughs> matching. Whatever stuff. Spongebob sheet. So yeah, my total spend was $90 on this day. I counted all the items as well when I got home. It was 157 total items that I got for that $90, which means I paid somewhere around 57 cents per piece. So these are like handmade, a table runner and... Um, Placemats. I really like the colors on them. I did like a lot of different um, patterns of these sheets and, and stuff, but I have so much right now that I just can't justify picking up every single thing that I like. Um, I have to be a little more picky than that, so I ended up leaving a bunch that I may have picked up in the past or might pick up in the future if I end up getting back to sewing, which I don't have time for anymore. This was one I liked too, and the whole set was there. Ooh, and then I found this. New in the package. Look at the pattern. Oh my gosh, what a great find. 57 cents. <laughs> that went right in the cart. And when she told me that could be part of my bag, I, I, this was me looking at her to see if there was more new packages. These were some leather guess um, like knee-high boots. Men's long sleeve button-ups, the Carhartt size small not the greatest but again it's 57 so like it's like i'm paying almost nothing for these items at the end of the day this was a pair of men's leather clark's shoes which i don't normally pick up but they're in really good shape and they were really good like quality So that was it, 90 bucks. There's my haul there on the ground. Yeah, I think I'd be better off double, three, four double bags handling full, two at a time than taking the car. There and the, um, that's up to you. The I'll, one I'll with the coach bag. Oh, yeah, I paid here. five okay, for that that's coach fine. bag. <laughs> so, yeah, 90 bucks in total <laughs> on everything. Dang, dude, I just hit myself in the face with my door right here. <sighs> Guys, there, I, I filled four entire bags plus some uh, hard goods and and um a box with some oh a box with some home goods and then some of what they consider their better goods so like stuff that's they consider for, i don't know what they what the criteria is but <laughs> they charge a little tiny bit more for that stuff so it is one o'clock already time just flies i think that might have been my best day ever at that thrift store you guys i got eileen fisher i got uh coach dooney and burke like <laughs> a lot of good vintage and like an entire bag of Tommy and Nautica sweaters, knit sweaters. I'm so excited. So now I don't have, I have like an hour and a half before I have to leave town here to go get my kid at school. And I'm going to go right over to Joe's estate sale and get more crap because I need more crap. See you guys there. Look at this house.